and as you can see now guys I have the test of connection already here so I have the data source name appearing in my Autorix designer like automatically okay hi everyone Rodrigo here once again for one more Autorix video and today I'd like to share with you the challenge that I did last week related to connect Snowflake and Autorix to design a new data cloud analytics solution so let's do it together guys first of all we have to go to snowflake right so here i just went to the main main page of a snowflake platform snowflake as you can see here is a data cloud solution uh, and this data cloud solution you can go and create your and build your data lake your data warehouse your data engineering also you can create some applications using ai and machine learning and many other things okay but sometimes guys companies just create uh, a combination a data analytics solution that combine snowflake and Autolix in autorix in order to boost the decisions to be making okay in the company so that's why i had this challenge i had the challenge to connect snowflake and autorix for one position that i was looking for in in the market and i just realized that this uh, position required those connection but there's no much material available so we have to connect the snowflake and autrix but we cannot learn why properly because there's no much material on web about it that's why i just decided to share this knowledge with you because i am already uh, created the connection i've already tested the connection and now i'm gonna share with you how did i do okay so first of all on snowflake i just started for free and then I just fulfilled this form over here and submitted to Snowflake. Then I received an email with a trial at uh, 30 days free trial. And in this email, the email is called Welcome to Snowflake and you receive your credentials, okay? The user that you created, the password that you uh, created as well as on Snowflake. And then as I told you, this is a, a cloud solution. So once you click it, you will go directly to this page. This URL over here is a specific URL for your user, okay? This is like a dedicated url for you so this is a basic uh, this is basic a server that snowflake uh created for you to tailor your solutions all right so you have to click it over here so please don't copy this url because it won't work for you okay this is the my url dedicated so here i have to sign with my username and password then i will go directly to this part okay this will be the first view of my snowflake platform over here i have my users i have worksheets dashboards apps data marketplace activities admin help and support but as you can see uh, uh, at the time that i'm recording this video i still have 23 days left in my trial but uh, without further ado i will move on directly to data because as i told you we are here creating a data analytics solution that will combine snowflake and autorix that's why i won't explore too much those other options that snowflake offers for us okay but for autorix purpose uh, purpose we can go to this part data and then over here we're gonna see all the data sets that we have in our server as you can see here when i started the trial snowflake just created this snowflake data set and this snowflake sample data okay this snowflake sample data has all the views that i want to work okay once you click it over here you can see this icon related to database which means this is a database and once you have this you have the schema of your data source and also over here you have many views of your data source many tables for example if i click on this first one and i just open a little bit more over here i can see tables as the title of the views and once i click it here i can see all the tables that i have in this view 
inside this data set okay this is like a, an hierarchy uh, structure of fields and tables in order to be more organized for you to work okay so once you have a data source you will have this view and in this view in this schema you will have all the tables that you develop on snowflake for example this one the call center one if i click it here i can see the table details about the admin of the tables and how this table is available in my company if this is public or not also i can see the columns of my tables the the structure of my tables over here i can see the field the type of the fields and how the size of the fields actually and some tags if uh, who designed this table if they put it some tags over here i can see the tags and if i want to see the details of this table i can click here data preview and then snowflake will show me all my data just right here let's see sometimes we have to wait a little bit but if it doesn't work we can just click it here and then refresh the page probably is my it's my internet connection isn't work properly okay once i just refresh the url i can see right now all my structure over here and i can analyze the data that i have on this table call center one okay so look at here we can go horizontally or even vertically to see all the information all the data that we have okay this is the perfect one i want to connect my outworks with this table just to adjust this table in my outrix designer now let's move on to outrix okay to use an outrix guys we have to go here and then we have to put it one input data. I will just move uh, fast at this time because I already showed you how to use input data. If you don't know how, there is a video here on YouTube in our playlist, Outrix English. You will see in details how to, to use this tool. Okay, don't worry about it. Then once you put it, the input data tool over here, you can click on setup connection, then data source, and you will see at this point, over here in the right button there we have snowflake odbc connection okay so click it over here and then snowflake will open this table over here when you do at uh, the first time you will see that here you will receive an information that there is no snowflake data source available why because we have to set up an odbc connection in our computer okay so you have to do it in your laptop or in your computer in order to succeed over here so for example you can move i recommend you at the first time just use the odbc from snowflake okay if you don't have one so to how to download and install just put it over here snowflake uh, odbc down driver download as you can see here many people already searched for then go here click on this documentation and then go to ODBC download, for example. Then you have just to check over here. I'm in the official page of Snowflake, okay? Be careful to go directly to the official. How do I know this is an official one? First of all, the image of the website. I know this is the website, but sometimes anyone can just copy the, the design in order to catch you and create some hacker behaviors on your computer so you have just to check over here as well as you can see the url says developers.snowflake.com slash odbc so this is the real one that i want to use so please be careful with the page over here just select what is your computer if you have windows a macbook or linux then download the more recent version okay that's my recommendation to you uh check if you have win 64 in your windows for example or your microsoft windows is win 32 bit so it's depend of your machine just download the first version and then run 
Once you do, you, you do this part, go back to Alteryx. From this point, guys, don't worry about the warning that you are receiving over here because you, are, you didn't uh, set up the ODBC connection yet. So that's the time after downloaded the ODBC and install in your machine. Now it's the time just to configure this part. So to configure it, click it over here, ODBC admin. Then you will see this page, okay? At this page, click on add. Then you will see this new window. On this new window, you will see that now you have an Snowflake DS driver, which means the driver that you downloaded from Snowflake, as you can see here, company Snowflake Computing. Just click once here on this Snowflake DS, then finish. Then you will see this part of your uh, of your Snowflake ODBC configuration. How do you fulfill this part of this window? Okay, this part of the configuration. First of all, data source, you can use the name that better described for you. For example, I'm gonna uh, put it here, uh, test of connection. Then your user and password that you created at the first step when you created a user and a server on Snowflake. So you have to go back to your credentials and then just put it over here. So my credentials, I'm going to put it over here. My user and my password. Then you have to copy the server path that you receive uh in your email okay how do i copy and paste this just go to the page for example the page of the login this is my uh my server path okay you have to copy this part you don't have to use console or login you can see this information either in our email or in the login page, okay, the signing page. So just copy this part over here, then paste here. Be careful to clean this first part, part okay, the HTTPS double dot, you don't have to use it. Just clean it this part, then just leave this one, okay? Then you have to uh, fill the database part. How do we do this part? You have to move on to the Snowflake. So this database will be this name, the name of data source that you are uh, that you want to connect. Okay. In my case, I will click it over here once. So data database. Then the database that I want to connect. And over here, I will copy and paste this name. This is the name of my database. Uh, once you fill this part, you have to fill the schema as well, all right, before test the connection. How do I get the schema? I have to move in back and then I have to see which of these tables, as you can see here, guys, this first part is just some views, okay, that I don't want to use in my case. Okay, this is just information. I want to use the tables that I have. And the tables I have at this point, this view, I can, I would say view. And the schema will be this name, okay? TPCDS, underline SF, blah, blah, blah. So I will just click it here. And then I will copy just this part, this part of the name. Let me see. Okay, if I can. Just select and copy. Don't copy this first part because this is the name of the data set. As you can see now, we have database name over here and the schema. So I will just pass the schema over here. And once you finish this part, name of the data source, user, password, server, database and schema, you just click on test. So in my case, I just receive uh, some failed connection. 
request for URL HTTPS. Uh, okay, probably I put it the name wrongly. So let's fix my URL. I will just clean the, the, this part and test again. Okay, and then I succeed, okay? So you don't have to use anything el else after .com. .com and that's it. So you will receive when you click on test this information, success, successfully connect to the data source, which means already working, okay? This is the connection for this table, for this part of your data source in Snowflake. If you want to create a new one, you have to uh, repeat this step, okay? For each table that you want to connect on Alteryx, okay? I just created one for this part of my data set called Snowflake sample data. So now I will click on OK, then OK again. Then now I can see that I have, before I click on the second OK, as you can see, I have this test of connection. So I recommend you when you add a new one, just use the name of the table that you want to use, the name of the view in your data so set to use in your project because we'll be more organized for you. So I will just use this test of connection, no problem. I have this and is already working. So I can click on OK no more problems than moving directly, moving straight to my Alteryx. And as you can see now, guys, I have the test of connection already here. So I have the data source name appearing in my Alteryx designer like automatically, okay? At this point, I will need to again put it my username and password on Alteryx. Then clicking OK. Once I do it, Alteryx now will connect directly to my Snowflake. And at this section called Tables, I can see all the tables that I have in my in my Snowflake. Okay. Uh, for example, let me find the call center one. Look at here. If I'm moving down a little bit, I can see this part, Snowflake sample data, TPCDS underline SF 100 TCL, exactly the connection, guys, that we have over here on Snowflake. And then I have all the tables. So I have call center, catalog, catalog page, catalog returns, catalog sales, customer, customer address. Look at here. I can see call center, catalog page, catalog returns, catalog sales, customer, customer address. So here I have all the information. Also, I have all the informations from this part because I connected at this data set, right? So I have these views as well. As you can see over here, I have the views, ap applicable roles, applicable roles, classes, class instances, I have all the views and all the informations from uh, the table that I connected, the schema that I use it. So here I have everything. So you have just to now select the table that you want to work on now. So we will work with this call center. Okay, so I will just click on OK. Now Alteryx just connected with Snowflake and once I click and run, you will see in the result, result part of result section in my Alteryx, I have all the table from Snowflake, okay? From this point to the future, you just have to design your workflow uh, in the way that you want to do, all right? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up. Also, if you know more ways to use Snowflake with Alteryx, just leave in the comment below. It will be a pleasure to keep in touch with you. Okay, that's all for today and see you in the next video. Bye.